In 2003, Chris Carl, a young New Yorker girl, went for a regular checkup in a hospital that turned disastrous. They diagnosed her with an incurable, rare stage 4 cancer of the liver and the lungs. But she decided to challenge the diagnosis through nutritional lifestyle and she turned her personal experience into a series of successful self-help groups and documentaries. Not only did she regain her health, but she has made a big business out of it. She has turned her own lemon into lemonade and 13 years later, right now, she's revered as the leading expert in nutritional living. And she has proved that cancer can be cured through lifestyle. What precedes, however, is your mental status. Let me make a disclaimer tonight. I am not a health expert, and I will not try to pretend to be one. But every single expert advice boils down to two issues, diet and exercise. Diet and exercise. That's why this morning, despite the fact that I was attacked by flu three days ago, I still jogged for three kilometers. But I believe something more fundamental than diet and exercise is what you feed your mind with. And because of the many negative things outside this auditorium, it is in your self-interest in terms of your health, career, relational, to be coming to these meetings for you to keep your mental alert. Mahatma Gandhi, one of the greatest brains since the beginning of time, said this. It is not about the physical ability, but it's about your tenacity, indomitable will, the undying spirit.